let's start with this draft uh, for this presentation. So by Monday, you have to submit again a Revit file and a PowerPoint file with a draft. It doesn't have to be the final version of everything, but everything has to be there. Okay. So let's uh, do it. The cover page. Uh, well, uh, so far, the best picture I have found is uh, this one. Okay, so for the cover page, uh, we can take a screenshot of this picture. If there's something better, uh, you can do it. And we, uh, we have to edit this picture because we need a... Front. Uh, we need the human scale. We need to work with the sky. It's not good enough, okay? But that's the draft. If you think that this is gonna be your best uh, screenshot, uh, use it for the cover page. And for that cover page, uh, we always need a title. Uh, we need um, Art 120 final project. And uh, we need your name. I'm not even uh, doing something outstanding with the text or whatever. Uh, it's just uh, the things we need for the final presentation. So if I don't find your name on the cover page, uh, you won't have a great. And uh, we need a title for this project. It can be a Kimball Museum of uh, Art in Texas, whatever, and we can architect there. Okay? But we need a cover page and we need a title. Uh, then what's next? Uh, the next is the, the floor plans. Uh, I showed you how to do how to work with the floor plans. Uh, we can work with lines or we can work uh, work with uh, black patches and then uh, gray uh, shadows. So the I will open the plans level zero. And uh, well, uh, remember that for the presentation, For the presentation, uh, we have to uh, duplicate that view. So we can name this level zero uh, presentation. And then on that level zero presentation, I want to get rid of uh, this. I'll hide in view this category of access. Uh, I don't want the, uh, the section marks. Uh, do I need uh, this? Well, that's something interesting. Um, I told you that at least I want uh, a page with uh, three different floors. So if I'm not sure, I will uh, duplicate this view again, and I will call this uh, level two presentation copy or presentation two, because I'm not sure of what I want to do, okay? So uh, the easiest option that I showed you uh, last time is about uh, hiding everything. So I will even, I will uh, hide in view uh, the, this uh, category or this uh, topography. And I will just uh, go for for this. Um, you have to be consistent. If you have black walls, uh, we need to have uh, black columns. So we have to go to visibility graphics. And for the category structural columns, then uh, we need to uh, select the solid and black field. It doesn't work. Why? Because probably is this a uh, structural pattern? And now it works. 
but uh, if for some reason the visibility graphic uh, doesn't work, probably I did this with the structural columns, but probably that belongs to the family columns. So you can see, it's all over here, color. Okay, well, it depends. Uh, so that was uh, the family columns or the structural columns, you have to find that. So if we have this, that's fine. This is a little, I don't know, we can make it better. So what I would do is to cast shadows on it. So we can go to these uh, graphic display options. If we want to cast shadows, uh, we can use wireframe. So we have to use a hidden line, okay? And then when uh, we have the hidden line, uh, we can cast both and then, and okay, good enough. Uh, so that can be one of them. And I'll paste it here. Very important. If uh, now we have decided that we're going to use this, the black hat and the gray uh, shadows, uh, we have to, to be consistent and we always have to use the same uh, pattern for, for that. If this is a basement, that's what I uh, wanted to try something different in this uh, second basement. Well, this is uh, the basement, okay. In this one, um, I can try uh, to do the same thing with the uh, uh, topography. Uh, so, uh, okay, I will unhide the topography. And now I need to see what this guy is doing. Here. Uh, so, in visibility graphics, I'm going to change the pattern of the columns again. And I'm going to change the pattern of the four. So from the three view, I'm going to select the section box and I want to move the section box because I want to show the, oh, so I see what happens. Like we don't have to go right there. Okay. So here we have the basement in the top view. And for this basement, I don't know why I don't have any uh, topography uh, here. That's weird. Because we have different topographies, but I don't find this. Anyway, 
So uh, let's uh, keep working on the presentation. I mean, if we, we have to be consistent, if this is the basement, uh, then we have to uh, uh, do the same with, uh, uh, with level nine or level 10. And then on level 10, I will uh, duplicate the view again. I will call it level 10 uh, presentation. And I'll type in view everything. Including this. Then with the visibility graphics, make sure that you work with uh, columns and walls. And then we overwrite the solid fill and use the same color that we have used for the other one. And if we are casting shadows, make sure that we cast uh, the same shadows there. Uh, there is something weird with this, probably because they are not cut. Okay, okay that's interesting. I don't think we have these columns on this floor, or so that happens because yeah, if you see those columns here. If you select this and attach to top base and select the floor, then the column uh, disappears. Okay, so that happens because you don't attach this to the to the floor. So select the columns, select all the columns, attach to top base, and then select the floor. So the column attach to top base, then uh, the floor, and then uh, the column disappears here. Okay, so that happens that the top of the column is lined up with the top of the floor slab. And usually it doesn't, it doesn't happen. Attach to the base, select the floor. And now the column, it doesn't show up there. And it doesn't show up in this uh, level of presentation. Okay, so now that I know how to do it, I can select all these columns. Then I can attach to the base, select the floor, and those columns disappear. Okay. So there's some walls missing here. I don't mind uh, because I'm going just uh, to prepare a draft of the presentation. But what is important now, okay, so this is a huge mistake. If you are working with the same, well, with the same building and you have two different floor plans and they have different sizes, ugh, that's wrong. So make sure that we uh, we can use the uh, reference lines even in uh, PowerPoint. Okay, so if you have this line, this is the beginning of the of the picture. Then we have to copy this one here, and this picture is too big. So make it a little smaller. And now they are lined up. Okay. Small, uh, small details, uh, but make sure that uh, all drawings uh, have the same, the same size because they are referring to the same building. Okay, so this line should be the same as this one, as this one. And finally, we need the roof. Uh, so if we are uh, working with this, uh, you can take the roof plan with uh, the 3D view. I will create it. But if you are taking this with the 3D view, uh, now we have to be consistent again. So we have to work with the hidden line and we have to work with uh, shadows. Okay. So I, we can take another screenshot of this. And again, line up. The drawing and adjust the size so that we can see everything.
Okay, so now with this, we have the basement, uh, the first floor, and uh, the roof plan. And again, order is important here. If we start with the basement, uh, the second one has to be the first, the third one has to be the, the top, the roof one. If we start with the roof, okay, so it's not the basement, roof, and then first floor, and then second floor, and then 15th floor. No, we need an order because uh, we do this uh, so that people can understand uh, what the building is like. Are we done with this? No, we're not, because we always need uh, a title. Uh, we always need your name. So this is something that should uh, be on all your presentations. And then we need the drawing names. So here we need the, you can say basement or you can say level uh, zero. I recommend you uh, this font, yeah, make it a little smaller than that one. But then again, we have to be consistent. If we type level zero uh, here, here we have to type level 10. And finally, uh, we have to type roof plan. Uh, are we done yet? Not yet, uh, because we always need a north uh, arrow. So again, I'm going to paste north arrow. and uh, graphic scale. If you copy uh, the same north arrow in the same uh, graphic scale, uh, you will save a lot of time. And uh, now, The picture format block and okay, North Arrow graphic scale. Uh, drawing names, title of the project, uh, your name. So this should be on every single slide of the presentation. Uh, what's next? Um, what's next? Oh, sections and elevations. Okay. So for sections and elevation, uh, we Mm. Yeah, so this is a long and uh, short building. So this is not a high rise building. So we need to understand the, the, the building we are, we are working with. Uh, what is the best uh, possible elevation that we can have uh, in this building? Well, okay, so as you can see, elevations are not, uh, are not appealing in this building. So that's, that's totally fine. Uh, so we don't need a uh, wonderful elevation, wonderful plants, but uh, that elevation in this building, it's not, let me see other elevations. Probably this is much better, but uh, again, uh, this elevation is interesting because we have this double height here. Okay, so we have the courtyard, so probably uh, we have to work with this section box. So if we work with the section box and we take uh, this front view again, now we get more information about the building. So I think that's better. 
Yeah, so if I have to select one of the elevations of that building, this is better than the only one. That's the short uh, elevation of this building. And I think it, it looks better than the other one. So I think I will use this elevation. Okay. And here, let's see if this elevation fits to this. Okay, good enough. And if we have this elevation, then we need a section that it's related to that elevation. So we have this elevation through the short uh, side of the building, and we need a section that. Uh, yeah, so we need a section. Uh, so if we keep working with this section box, so this is a section of the building. So here we see uh, these two floors. Uh, well, uh, that's interesting because here we see the skylights. So there are different things that we have to see in this, uh, in this section. Uh, skylights are important. If you have worked on that, uh, you need a section in which uh, you can show this. Then we have courtyards, and probably one of those courtyards, uh, they are open uh, from, or, did you have a, or we have a double volume for that courtyard. I don't think this guy has done it yet, but uh, I'm sure that there is a courtyard here, so probably this floor if we edit in place, uh, there, oh, so that's edit in place, the floor. Okay, so I'm going to create a void because I'm sure that between these four columns, we have a void. So on this level 10, uh, we will have this void, and here we have the, the auditorium. Okay, so for the auditorium, apparently this is the place in which more things uh, are going on in this building. If we have this double volume here, so the basement, and we have the auditorium uh, going down, uh, I think uh, we have to do something else uh, with this floor plan that we have not done before uh, through the auditorium. Uh, so what can we do? Uh, let's work with a 3D view. And uh, let's work with the section box again. Okay, so that's the auditorium. Now we have a section uh, through the auditorium here. So that's the floor and uh, we should go uh, down. Okay. Um, so what is a section for uh, the auditorium? If we look at the space between two different chairs, it's around three feet, eight inches, four feet, something like that can be uh, good enough. Okay. Uh, so that's it. Let's keep that in mind. And then we will have like four feet here. And then we will go uh, like one foot uh, down. I think those uh, dimensions are uh, reasonable. So if I'm in this uh, section, I'm going to create the architectural uh, component uh, model in place. Uh, this is a floor. Okay, and I'm going to work with extrusion and I'm going to start uh, doing this. Okay, first I have to pick a plane. I pick this one. Okay. And now I'm going to go uh, one foot down and four feet and one. 
and four, one and four, one, four. And uh, now uh, we need a diagonal. So I'm going to connect all these corners and I'm going to move it here. And now I'm going to twist it like this. So if it's a closed loop now, it should work. There you go. And on the 3D view, here. <laughs> Yeah, we have this. So that works now. And yeah, we have the seating area for the auditorium. And uh, but we have those walls here, and I don't like those walls. So I'm going to use the wireframe. And those walls now they have to be underneath the, the seating area. There. Okay, so if I have to take a good section of this short part of the building, I think I will take a section in which I can see the auditorium and I can see this uh, double body. Okay. So I will uh, work with this section box. And I'll have a section for the auditorium like this. Okay. So that section is more interesting because I see the, the seating area here. I should see the double volume. Where, where is the other thing? Now I see both. I can see the seating area and I can see the double volume. Uh, it will work better if uh, I just uh, go to the visibility graphics and I highlight the section elements. So what do we have here? Uh, for sure we have walls. Uh, I will try topography again. Uh, we have floors and roofs. Roof, floor. And I'm going to override this with a solid field and black. There you go. Okay, so that's interesting because here, uh, we can understand that we have two floors in this section and there are elements that connect uh, two floors. So we have this double volume here and then we have the seating area of the auditorium. Uh, I don't like this gap, but this is something that I can fix with Photoshop. Okay, so at some point I can fix this with uh, Photoshop because there's a gap here. It should be black all the way up. And what if I cast the uh, shadows now? Let me see what happens if I cast shadows. 
Okay, that's not the best uh, angle for uh, my shadows. So I think I have to go to sun settings and let's try uh, with steel. Uh, it doesn't work today. Let's see if it works in the summer. Well, I don't find a good spot for the shadows. At least I can make them uh, lighter if I select lighting and make the shadows lighter. It will work better. Okay, so that's something good enough uh, for the section. And then I need to take a screenshot. Outputs. And uh, again, I have to line up, I have to make the section in the elevation uh, the same scale. Um, well, that's another thing. If you are uh, working with a black patch for the section, it works much better if we place the section underneath. And then if there is something that use a white patch, it's better about. Okay, the draw is weight. They have weight. And the darkest color is always the heaviest thing here. So if we have something dark, it should be at the bottom of the of the page because otherwise it looks like a weird. Okay. But uh, we have not solved the issue with the scale. So we need reference lines here. And now scale. Okay, I think now it works. Yeah. Okay, so now I have the elevation, I have the section, and uh, now I have a different pattern because I didn't have this here. Okay, so whatever I do here with the title, And I have to do something with the name. Okay, so I have to change the color. If I'm working with a black background, I have to change the color of the text here. And I have to add uh, the same level of information for this. Uh, this is section. Here. And this is uh, the elevation. Is this, uh, I think this was the south elevation.
Uh, we need a graphic scale. The scale, by the way, is going to be uh, different here because they are the different scales from the, the plants. And we don't need a north, um, we don't need a north arrow here because uh, for sections and elevations, okay, we don't need north. Okay. So that is uh, good enough. So we have the cover page, and then we have the, uh, the three floor plans. Uh, here we have section and elevations. What's next? And two exterior and uh, two interior renders, and finally the uh, hand sketches. Well, uh, yesterday, no, on Monday, we worked uh, with the hand sketches. So you have here some samples of the hand sketch. Uh, so now we have to take exterior, good exterior, and good interior uh, renders. Um, okay. Um, for the interior renders, I think there, I told you that there is always something that works well is the section perspective. I'm going to try to take a good section perspective. Okay. If you work uh, with this, but I want to get rid of that guy. Okay, if we're working in uh, the 3D view uh, with the section box, uh, you can always uh, right click here and uh, instead of orthographic, select perspective. And that makes the things nicer. Okay, so here uh, we have the same information we have in the section, but we have this uh, sense of uh, space uh, that we have with this uh, section perspective. So, and here we have the, we, we can see the skylights, we can see that shapes this wing to uh, reflect uh, the light. Uh, we see the floor, we see the, the seating area for the auditorium. So we can see a lot of things here, okay? Uh, so now we only have to, and we have information even, we have some information about the site. So I like this. And I'm going to, uh, uh, again, make sure that you uh, hide that element because we don't need that section box. And then with Photoshop, we can add a sky, we can uh, place the uh, human beings there, uh, whatever. But I think that's uh, it's something that is worth uh, showing. Okay, so again, if we have a black, Hatch, make sure that it's always at the bottom. And uh, what else? Well, this can be an, a good interior uh, shot. And now I'll show you how to do uh, fun things. By the way, when you think that this uh, view is uh, the right one, and you don't want to make the mistake of uh, changing that view, uh, you have to click here. Okay, in this tiny house, this is an unlocked uh, 3D view. Uh, first, I'm going to duplicate it because we are working with the uh, 3D. Okay, so I'm going to uh, duplicate this view. And I'm going to name it a uh, section perspective. Okay. And uh, now I always have the 3D view. So if I know the 3D view, I will change the view. But if I think that's good, uh, you have to keep this view because uh, you like it. And uh, then I click here, uh, lock this uh, section perspective, uh, save, save orientation and lock view. And now you can, you can change it. 
Okay, if you want to change it, you have to go to the three view. And now you can change because you need another one. But this is there. Okay, because maybe you can say, oh, uh, I forgot to do something on this view. Uh, so whatever you, you do in the model, uh, it will uh, show up here, but you don't change this, uh, this camera. Okay, so when you find the perfect spot or the, or the perfect uh, shot or the perfect perspective, make sure that you lock that view and then you won't lose uh, that perfect perspective. <clears throat> Okay, so I have found this. I like it, but I want to keep working on the 3D view. And I want to keep working on the 3D view. Uh, so this is in a perspective now, uh, no problem, because I can always go back to the orthographic view. And we have this. And then uh, I want to unhide the section box again. Like that. And uh, well, I'm going to show you something that we saw in some of the presentations, but I think it's uh, something uh, cool. Okay, I think in one of the one of the PowerPoints that we uploaded there. Okay, then we have this uh, to show you the, the basement walls and then the first floor walls and then the roof. So let's try to do uh, something like uh, like this for this axonometric view. So first in ready, okay, we have to find the right position for that. And then uh, we have to work uh, with the section view, uh, with the section box. Uh, but if we want uh, to work with the section box, um, and we want to work with the crop region, okay? So the crop region is this. So that's the part of the drawing that we want to show. And that's important because we always want to show the same uh, part of the building. Because if they don't have the same scale, that will look weird, okay? So that's the part of the, uh, the building that we want to show. And uh, this is... I'm going to crop uh, view. Okay, so if I crop view, I crop everything that it's not included uh, here. It's not included in the section box. Not in the crop region. So. Okay. So if I like this view, again, I'm going to duplicate this, and this is the axonometric roof. Yep. And I'm going to, um, well, I'm not going to do that. And then I'm going to uh, duplicate this again. And I'm going to name it uh, axonometric uh, first floor. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. And I'm going to name it axonometric uh, basement. Right. And now with uh, if I always have the same crop region and I don't change it, uh, I will always show uh, the same thing. And then I'll work uh, with the section box. So if I work with the section box and I move it down, this is the first floor, but now I want to show the basement. 
table. Okay, so here we have the basement. And then if I go to the first floor, and if I work there with the section box, now I'm showing the first floor. Okay. Uh, so that's interesting because now I can take, if I take the, the crop region, I can move it here, one, <laughs> I'm going to make it smaller. Then the basement. Two. And finally, I want to take the room. So I have to line them up, scale them at the same scale. And if it doesn't match, you have to make it a little smaller and a little smaller and smaller. Okay, so now I have this idea of showing the basement, the first, the first floor and the roof. Okay, so that's a way to do it. And well, we have to fix this because, uh, well, now probably if this had a color uh, for the site plan, it will work better than uh, with uh, lines, black and white. But anything, anyway, this is a draft. So this is what I want to do. And then I, I have to uh, make it better. Okay, but uh, that's the first draft for the presentation. Uh, I can do something different with this. I can, uh, but I have to work with the 3D view again. So for the 3D view again, uh, here I can change uh, the crop region. And I can use another option here. If I select the, the roof, I can uh, use this uh, displace element option. Okay, so how does it work? But now I have to be careful uh, because if I want to select all the roofs, and I have to select the roofs, but I don't want to select, uh, for example, the arches. So I don't want to select these or these. For this, 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 this. Okay. So now I select uh, the view again. I am I have to select it again. The roof, I don't want to select beams, and I don't want to select arches. Good. And now we select this uh, displace elements. 
So if we displace elements and you select the blue arrow, we can move that, we can move them up. Okay, so I will see the roofs. And then underneath, I see the, the actual building. Well, this is confusing because we have a lot of uh, things here. So probably uh, to do this, it would be better to hide uh, the topography. And probably uh, that will be here. And what if we cast shadows? Um, I'm not sure. Or the... or we can try shave it. Okay. It's kind of confusing, but I think uh, the idea is good, uh, but probably we have to work on the right, uh, yeah, on the right elevation. And here we can show that we have the structure, the structural elements, the arches and the beams. And here we just have the, the roof that it's different. Okay. Anyway, I think that if we work with the graphic display options and make the shadows something and shadows. Or with the control of this. Or maybe it's just a question of move them upwards. Well, I'm not sure, but I think it's because of the graphics. I like the idea, but I find it a little confusing. So anyway, uh, for the trap, I'm going to save a screenshot of this and see if I can do something better with Photoshop. Uh, we have taken that uh, interior because uh, those are, uh, this is an interior screenshot because I'm looking at the internal space, but uh, I think I can do something better okay, with this. And now I'm going to try to use some cameras. So if I want to use some cameras, I have to go to level 10, level nine, level 10. And now I'm going to place a camera here. Okay. I think this building deserves a, that uh, central shot and that would be a good one. I have to work with uh, materials, uh, probably with shadows. 
But again, this is not the best uh, shadows that I can get. So with uh, display options, I think uh, for these internal shots, I need ambient shadows, apply, but I think they are too dark. Okay, that's getting better. Uh, let me see what happens with the realistic. Okay, so there is a lot of work to do here in terms of uh, materials and people. And uh, probably this is to, uh, we need to increase the ambient light. Sun. Uh, there's a lot of work to do here with the materials, but I think it's nice enough. Uh, but uh, now I have to talk uh, to think about uh, the format of this. So uh, if I'm uh, deciding what, uh, what kind of layout uh, I need for this picture, so I can have something like this. And up here. And here, I can have a different, uh, uh, a different shock. Maybe this one. Or maybe I can use this screen. For the basement, then the first floor, and then the roof. Okay. I can try different options, but if I have uh, this be here, Uh, probably they can change uh, the format of this one. So I'm going to prepare now the proposal uh, with this. Here. Okay, so I think uh, that uh, would be enough, or if we are uh, working with something like that, and we have a vertical image here, then we can combine other uh, shots. Okay, let me see on level nine. If I have another camera, I'm going to go to the zero camera.
is going to work. Okay, so this is a draft of the presentation cover page. It has to be the best one. Uh, floor plans, same criteria. You can use uh, black hatches and shadows, or you can use lines, or you can have uh, materials, whatever. Uh, but we need the same criteria. North arrow, uh, graphic scale. Elevations and sections. If you uh, show one elevation and one section on the same page, uh, they have to match. Okay, so they have to. Uh, if, if we have this elevation, make sure that uh, we have the same size, the same scale. And uh, if it's the, this is the south elevation, so that's a section that it's taken from uh, the short line. Uh, if you want to show interesting parts of the section, it's better. If we have just a flat floor without any openings or without, or without any double volumes. And we do have these kind of things in this building. So try to show uh, the double volumes or how we connect the basement to the first floor in this building. And then try to show the skylights and all these beams that we have here. Okay, so try to show as much as possible of uh, the elements that you have done for the model. Uh, interior shots. I think that always works. This section with a perspective, uh, so try it because it adds value to the section itself. Okay, so here you can talk about a lot of things, especially if you work with uh, the nice materials and all that stuff. Then um, trying to understand the, the building, the volume, the volume of the building in different floors. I think this is something that you should explore. Okay, so something, uh, this is the basement, this is the first floor, and this is the, the roof. So that's something that you can explore. Then a huge axonometric view of the building, it's always something that works, but we have to try uh, different things. Uh, we can try, uh, instead of the uh, displacing uh, those elements, duplicate, Place. I can try this. Or maybe I can take this one. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so you can show uh, a section of the building, especially with this uh, auditorium here, uh, using the section box. And uh, um, we have to try different things here. But anyway, uh, the taxonometric view of the building uh, always uh, helps to understand the building. And then with the interior shots. Uh, so you need to realize what the best uh, shot is. And you can always combine interior and exterior. But uh, think about uh, that layout. And finally, the sketches. So we need a couple of sketches. 
And the sketches, again, should be an, at least an exterior one and then an interior one. But um, that's up to you. But that would be a draft of the presentation. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the final. So 10 slides, uh, it's good. So again, if you have the model, it takes uh, less than an hour uh, to prepare a draft of the presentation. So that's what you have to do for next week.